Better be decent. You settled? Good. Anything you need? Water, piss, rat poison? I've been asked for rope before. Not really allowed to give it out. Of course, I could make an exception for you. You can tell me why I'm in Arkham Asylum for a start. What? Rich boy doesn't remember? Oswald Cobblepot? You beat him to a bloody pulp. Nearly killed him. Landed you here. Any of this ringing a bell? Might as well get comfortable. This is your home now. Time to meet your neighbors. As you were. You look just like him. Your father ever tell you about me? How he sent me here? Left me to rot in this goddamn hellhole? Somebody's gotta pay for that. I hope to God there is a hell. I want your daddy to see what I do to you. You really don't want to do this. You don't know a damn thing about me, Wayne. other who will right what is going on in here it's like i told you doctor these creeps were attacking the new guy well who did that was it you of course not it was mostly over by the time i got in the new guy is tougher than he looks right buddy bruce is that really what happened go on tell her yeah yeah, that's what happened. We have a very strict no-fighting policy here in Arkham. If you can't obey that rule, you're going to find yourself in hot water fast. The orderly that was here before took money from these men and let them into my room. He gave them a taser. I knew that you coming to Arkham could cause some excitement, but I didn't expect it to happen so fast. I'll do my best to keep you safe, but I need you to be careful. Us nice guys gotta stick together. Am I right? Come to me if anything happens. Thank you. I appreciate the effort. I'm glad you're so understanding after what just happened. Good thing help wasn't far away. Hey, I'm just looking out for the new guy. I'm Dr. Joan Leland, by the way, head of psychiatry. I'll be overseeing your case personally. We'll get you transferred to a new room, Bruce. One that doesn't have your... blood all over it. For now, follow me. I'm sorry, I don't think I ever got your name. Me? <laughs> He's never given his name out to anybody. What? You just call him John Doe. Bingo. John is one of our most improved patients. He's been with us for quite some time. I'm sure he'd be willing to show you around. Right, John? Oh, yeah. I'll show him the whole nine yards. <laughs> I think it would be best if you stayed by his side. But there's not enough black tiles, you hear me? There's too many white tiles! You know, Doc, our last session was so enlightening. That's good to hear. 
Your next evaluation is in a few weeks. I'm glad you're starting to understand yourself now. Oh, <laughs> every day, Doctor. Every day. I can't taste anything! I want to taste! <laughs> you gotta be more careful, Bruce. Some of these guys bite. the first time you let me into the rec room, Dr. Leland? <laughs> how could I forget? You had to teach me how to play checkers. Yes. <laughs> no, no, you, you need to let me go. I have to warn the president. You're trying to kill you me. You don't know the president. <laughs> they don't like it when you try to use the phone. That's because phones are for staff use only. No exceptions. <laughs> Stop that guy from trying. <laughs> Such persistence. Wrong number, dumbass! John! I'll come by to check on you two later. Don't worry about us, Dr. Leland. I'm gonna take good care of him. Welcome to Arkham Asylum! <laughs> Believe it or not, some of these people are crazy. <laughs> but everyone's friendly, mostly. I'd watch yourself around those two. Not a big fan of strangers. And just a little bit you know, prone to outbursts of violence. Thanks for the heads up. I appreciate you showing me around like this. I'm a giver. <laughs> what can I say? I always try to keep an eye out for new guys. Let's see. On the couch, that's St. Louis. <laughs> Ooh, sh sh his favorite show's on. Never misses it. All right, friendo. Commercial break. Get up! The remote. One of the orderlies must have taken it. Never fear, though. I'll go ask Leland. She likes me. Ooh, I almost forgot. Here. What is this? You got a bad case of the mind knives. I can tell. I can tell. Just... just shove off, all right? No mind knives for me. I already got my shots. If that's the way the cookie crumbles... Cookie... Cookie crumbs! That's it! <laughs> yes! I cracked it! <laughs> the right key for this. Bruce Wayne. You've got quite a reputation around here. Taking your enemies out to stay on top. I like your style. I walked in here with. What can you tell me about him? John Doe? A lot of folks are scared of him. Yeah? Why is that? Same reason folks are scared of tornadoes. They're chaotic. Unpredictable. Not speaking as a, <clears throat> as a professional. I find his work a bit sloppy. But he's certainly enthusiastic. I'll give him that much. I solved the cookie riddle, not you. Sorry. Sorry. It's, it, it's just... It, it's his just, it's just voice! It's driving me nuts! Oh, but you're already nuts, aren't you, Billy? <laughs> hey. 
Hey, uh, I was wondering about... It's not lunch yet. <sighs> well, actually, I it's wasn't... It's not time for meds, either. Beat it. Hey there, buddy boy. You missed me? I missed you. However, the threat remains. The children of Arkham are still out there, and I will not rest until these streets are safe and firmly under my control. Never anything good on, is there? Wait, that's the move you're going to make? Huh? Yeah. Why? Why? No reason. Your key it didn't work. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> that's not how you get out of here. <laughs> You tried it, though, didn't you? <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. <laughs> My enforcement squad has already seen great success. They stopped a massive attack being organized out of a local Skytrain depot. Politicians usually bore me to tears. But this one... This one has become a lot more interesting lately. In my Gotham, no one's above the law, including Bruce Wayne. After his vicious attack on Oswald Cobblepot, I had Mr. Wayne committed to Arkham Asylum, where I hope he'll receive the treatment he so desperately needs. Double-crossing two-faced. I thought you and the mayor were friends. I mean, you were supporting his campaign. I saw all sorts of photos of the two of you together. Oh well, you had a good run, right? He is the reason I am in here. I can't believe he did this. Quite the temper on you. I have one too. In which Mayor Dent announced the creation of a special enforcement squad under his direct command to combat an imminent threat from the children of Arkham. Rest assured, we will find these terrorists their stockpile of drugs, and their leader, this Lady Arkham, before they can strike again. Now, this is good television! Mayor on a rampage versus freaky drug terrorist. I'm gonna find your drugs. I'm going to expose your corruption. Oh! Lady Arkham is dangerous. Way more dangerous than you think. Oh, I know a bit about Lady Arkham. Let me tell you. Tragically, there's still no sign of Gotham Gazette reporter Vicki Vale after her mysterious disappearance earlier this week. Very tricky, Vicki. I think we both know she's quite the uh, lady, right, Bruce? Wait, you know that Vicki is. Tell me what you know. You want to find Vicky and her drugs, huh? Can your revenge just like you got your revenge on Cobblepot? Publicly and dramatically, something entertaining for these newscasters to talk about. Well, that all depends on you. If your information is good, we'll see. I knew I liked you. I've been watching you for a while now, Bruce. And I can tell there's something darker in you. When you attacked Oswald, I could tell you enjoyed it. If those cops hadn't dragged you off of him, that Cobblepot punk would be dead. After everything Oswald has done to me, yeah, I'm kind of glad it happened, because he deserved it. <laughs> Am I glad to see you embracing those feelings? They're very natural, especially a guy like you, who clearly takes after his father. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the Vales killed? I never said he killed the Vales. She was born in Arkham, Victoria Arkham. What? You didn't know that? The Arkhams did not approve of what your dad and his partners were doing. They were gonna blow the whistle on the whole thing, so your dad, well, pop, pop. Her 
parents murdered, leaving her with an unquenchable thirst for vengeance. Surely you can relate. Tragedy can drive people to do some pretty dark stuff. Don't try to make this about me. Of course it's about you, Bruce. This is all about you. You and Vicky are both dark souls, and now you're heading on a collision course towards each other. That's gonna be fantastic! You see, I know what you really are. And that's why I really want to tell you where Vicky's moved her drugs, but you're not gonna do anything while you're stuck in here. So, I vote we get you out. How hard can it be? You're Bruce Wayne. The Waynes always get what they want. All it would take is a phone call. Well, sure, but there's no phone. I <sighs> assume I can take care of that. But it's gonna come at a price. When I get out of here, you're gonna owe me a favor, okay? Just one. Yeah, I don't know what it is yet. But what's one favor between friends? Sure, one favor, that seems fair. Excellent. We'll have loads of fun. You'll see. All right, tell you what, I'm gonna make a distraction to get the guards away from that gate. The rest is up to you. You make that phone call, and I promise I'll tell you how to find those missing drugs. Hey, Zaz! Hello, Zaz. What the hell do you want? Settle a bit. What happens if you make a tally mark before you kill someone? What are you talking about? Ah! No! No, 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 I don't match anymore. Oh, God, I don't match! You can fix that right now! It feels like it's itching. Burning! Need to... Need to get rid of it! Says, stop! Someone give me a sedative! Run, Brucey! Run! <laughs> Gordon, it's Bruce Wayne. Wayne? Aren't you supposed to be in Arkham Asylum? Listen, Gordon, I haven't lost my mind. I was drugged. The same drug the children of Arkham used on Montoya and Harvey Dent. You get me out of here, and I'm willing to testify. Huh, this might help our case, actually. That makes three victims now, and Renee says she's got some new evidence. If you're willing to testify, I think I can get you out of there. Thanks. I have to go. <laughs> oh, Bruce, I have not had this much fun in ages. Let me tell you how to find Vicky's stash of missing drugs. Ask the fails. Quickly, come on. Look at the lock on the outside, Bruce! I just know you're gonna put on quite a show. Pretty grisly scene in there. Multiple stabbings. One of the orderlies had a finger bitten off. Doctor, I swear to you, I was not involved in any of this. We're going to look into it further before I feel comfortable making a decision one way or the other. One moment.
Seems you have a visitor. Alfred. Ah, Bruce. Thank heavens you're all right. You'll see everything is in order. Signed this morning with Lieutenant Gordon of the GCPD. He is to be released into my care. I know it seems like using your power and influence is the best way to make this all go away. But it's just avoiding the problem. What happened with those men in your room? The riot with Zaz? You clearly need help, Bruce. He needs extensive evaluation. Treatment. I appreciate your concern, Doctor, but I assure you, I'm fine. You don't know that, Bruce. I'm the medical professional, and from everything I've observed, you're clearly in need of treatment. I'm afraid it's out of your hands now, Doctor. You have the paperwork. Let's go, Alfred. I will see you on the outside, Bruce. I can't wait! What's that about? 